Hey everybody, Mr. MathBog here. This lesson is line graphs. This is lesson 9-4 in our textbook. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, let's get started here. Here's our uh, common course strand for our teachers and our question is how can we use a line graph to display and analyze real world problems? We'll do a couple of them here. So what a line graph is, it's a graph that uses line segments uh, to show how data changes over time. We'll do a couple of them. The series of numbers placed at fixed distances that label the graph uh, are the graph's scale. And the intervals, or the difference between the values on the scale, should be equal. So here's an example right here, and we'll talk about all of those definitions. So we're going to graph this data and use the graph to determine the times between which the greatest temperature uh, change occurred. Okay, so looks like we recorded the temperatures in the morning. So this is 1 o'clock in the morning, which is after midnight, you know, at nighttime. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and here's the temperatures. And typically in the middle of the night, the temperature goes down, so it went from 51 to 49 to 47 to 44, and all of a sudden, you know, got a, it got a little bit warmer right there, went back down again. Then at 7 o'clock, well, probably the sunrise is coming up, and it's starting to warm it up in the area again. So anyways, we're going to make a... Uh, line graph on this. So uh, we're going to write the related number uh, pairs of data as ordered pairs. So here, um, uh, this is uh, the 1 o'clock and it was 51 degrees. So this is going to be the time. The first ordered pair is going to be the time. And then this is going to be what temperature it is. Okay. Now, so let's go ahead and put all the times down. Now remember, you guys, we talked about this in the last lesson. The top row right here is always our X column, and the bottom row is always our Y column. If it's going up and down, the left row is our X, and the bottom row is our Y. Remember, X, comma Y is in alphabetical order, so which comes first is your left column. So this comes first. This will be our left column. Okay, so we're going to put in 51, 49, 47 at these appropriate times. So this 47 is going to go right here for the 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there's all those numbers are placed right there. And then we're going to graph. We're going to graph this ordered pair, 1, 51, 2, 49. All right, let's just move that over right there. So here's a uh, a graph that they, they provided for us, and we're supposed to, uh, for the vertical axes, the vertical axes is this axis right here, we're going to choose a scale and an interval that's appropriate for the scale, okay? So um, uh, there's a springboard here. I don't, your book doesn't call it a springboard, but I call it a springboard. And what this is uh, used for, it's a line break right here. Because we don't, you know, the first numbers that they start at um, uh, is in the 40s right here. So we'll start it at 40 right here, and we'll go up by twos. This will be 42, 44, 46, 48, and so on. And so since we don't want to, you know, leave a big space from 0 to 40, because otherwise our graph wouldn't start until way up here, we can do a little shortcut and do this little springboard. It springboards up to 40 right there. So let's go ahead and do the vertical scale right there, okay? Now, the second part says for the horizontal scale, we're going to write the times of days. Okay, so let's do this one at a time. So let's write the times of days down here. So the times of days are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's what we'll do first. We'll write the times of day, okay? Then the second part says write the title for the graph and name each axis, okay? So the title of the graph was the rainfall. And then over here, what's this for over here? This is the Y axis. This is going to be these numbers right here. And that was the temperature right here. And this down here is going to be the time of day and the AM, okay? So here's our title, recorded temperature. Here's the label of the vertical axes, the temperature. It's always these Y coordinates. It's always the second ones right here. And down here is the time of day. It's always the X coordinates here, okay? All right, and then uh, now let's do this next part. So then graph the ordered pair. So we're going to graph 1, 51. So here's 1, here's 40, here's 42. Here's 50, so here's 52, so 51 is going to be right there, okay? So we'll just graph all of those. So here are all these points graphed right here. Here's 2 o'clock, 49 degrees, okay? So at 2 o'clock, it's 49 degrees. At 3 o'clock, it's 47. So 3 o'clock, go between 46 
and 48, so 47 would be right there. Okay, now we're going to complete the graph by connecting the points with line segments. Okay, so there it is right there. Now there's our line graph right there, okay? So they have little separate line segments connecting all the points right there. And then we can analyze this graph and talk about things. So now look at the line segment piece in the graph. Find the line segment that shows the greatest change in temperature between the two consecutive points. Okay, so it's the steepest part, whether it's going up or down. The very steepest part, this looks the same right here, but right here, this looks like it's the steepest right here. In fact, it went down 3 degrees. So the greatest temperature, temperature change occurred between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock right here. In fact, it dropped 3 whole degrees in that little time zone right there, okay? All right, so let's try another one here. Here, Julie uh, used a rain gauge to collect data on the total rainfall during a six, uh, a six interval uh, time period in Sacramento. I should have put that in there, six interval day period, okay? So she reads the amount of rain collected in the rain gauge each day and did not pour it out. So, so it should keep going. So on Monday, she got two inches of rain. On Tuesday, she didn't get any rain, so it stayed at two inches. On Wednesday, looks like they gained an inch. And then on, uh, from Wednesday to Thursday, it added another three inches. And then on Thursday to Friday, one inch. And Saturday, nine inches. So she didn't pour it out. It just kept filling up and filling up. So we're going to make a line graph. Okay, now remember, the first column is our what? It's our X's, so that's going to be the bottom row down here. So we're going to put uh, the days down here, and then this, the rainfall is our second column. It's going to be going up, so rainfall is going to be going up right here, okay? So let's write uh, related ordered pairs of the data as uh, these, let's write these pairs as ordered pairs. So this is going to be Monday, comma, 2. Tuesday comma 2, Wednesday comma 3, Thursday comma 6. That's what's going in all of these, okay? So they don't have to be numbers. So there, we're going to put all those in the X numbers right there and then put all those in the Y numbers right there, okay? And then um, now we'll choose a scale and an interval for the data, okay? All right, so um, uh, let's see. I, I, I chose this scale right here. I didn't need to do a springboard because the smallest number is 2. So I just started at 0 right here, and here's 1. Whoops, here's 1, here's 2, here's 3, here's 4. Okay, this is the rainfall right here, and down here are the days right there. So choose a scale and an interval for the data. So I did every two squares was one day. Okay, it just made it look nicer. Okay, if I put them too close together, there'd be our line segments. You wouldn't be able to see the line segments. They'd be too, if I put Monday here and Tuesday here and Wednesday here, the line segments would be too close. So I spread them out. You could have made it three if you want, but I would have ran off the graph right there. So find a scale that'll fit your data uh, nicely. So now we're going to label the horizontal and vertical axes and write a title for the graph. Okay, and then graph the ordered pairs and connect the points with the line segment. Okay, so here is our, our uh, table that they gave us right here. So this will be our title, Rainfall Collected. Down here is our days, so this is the each day. Over here it's going to be uh, the Y column. It's going to be the second column right here, Rainfall in Inches right there. Okay, so there's our title right up there. Here's uh, the X axis is the day, and the Y axis is the Rainfall in Inches right there. Okay, all right, and then now it says um, uh, graph the ordered pair. So here's Monday, comma, 2. I did that right there, Monday, comma, 2. Okay, Tuesday, comma, 2. Here's Tuesday, comma, 2. Here's Wednesday, comma, 3. Thursday, comma, 6. Friday, comma, 8. Finally, Saturday, comma, 9 right there, okay? And now we're going to connect them. There they are connected right there. And then let's analyze this graph, okay? So we're going to use the graph to answer the questions. On which day was the rainfall recorded the greatest, okay? Was the total rainfall that recorded the greatest, all right? The total rainfall is right up here. It's at uh, that 9 inches right there. So on which day was that? It was on Saturday when it had the, t the greatest total right there. Saturday with the rainfall of total of 9 inches. Okay, number two. On which day did Julie record the greatest increase of rainfall from the previous day? Okay, so the greatest increase is when it has the steepest slope. So right here it looks like it goes up steeper right there. So on which day 
Did it record uh, uh, the greatest increase on, on rainfall? Okay, Thursday had the greatest uh, increase because on Wednesday it was at 3 inches and it jumped up all the way up to 6 inches on Thursday. So Thursday it rained a lot, so it jumped up there. It's the steepest part of the graph right there. Okay, and then uh, explain how we could use the graph to identify uh, the two readings for which it did not rain. Okay, well, when it didn't rain was when it stayed the same at two inches from Monday to Tuesday right there. It's the horizontal line right there. It didn't increase at all right there. So on Monday it was recorded at two inches and again on Tuesday. So it's just where the horizontal line shows on that. Okay, hey, if you guys found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd click like and take care.